the Northern Ashlands, one of the most isolated locations in Morrowind, far from the prying eyes of civilization, home only to the tribes of the Ushalaku, with countless myths and ruins just shrouding this region in legend, such as the lonely towers of the Balaku or the Great Hive of Ban Benef. Towering edifices of viticality that just dominate the landscape and entice adventurers to try and discover their many secrets just hidden within. And uh, that brings me to today's uh, Mod of the Day, or as I should say, uh, Mods of the Day, because uh, today uh, we have two mods that we're showcasing, uh, both inspired by the concept art of Michael Kirkbride including uh, Tales from the Ashlands, The Great Hive of Ban Benef by The Hive Mind, aka Random Pal, Seeloff, Vegetto, Lucifer, and Pikachuno TM, and Blocku, The Lonely Towers 2.0 by Kalantir. And as a note here, uh, we have actually showcased Blocku, The Lonely Towers before, but uh, quite a bit has changed in the very brief period of time, you know, since our last showcase. So, uh, hence, we're showcasing it again. And uh, there's a, a very good reason why I'm showcasing it uh, with the Great Hive of Ban Benef. And uh, that's because these two mods work perfectly together. Like, they complement each other in just such a way that it would be really insane to not use them together. They just combine seamlessly to utterly transform the Northern Ashlands. And not just adding these beautiful viticality inducing locations to the game world, but also just massively improving the landscape of the Northern Ashlands. Uh, these, two, uh, these two mods combined uh, basically make for a, a major landscape overhaul for this part of the Northern Ashlands adding just a, a ton of detailing to the train here, and not just detailing, but also just uh, new little things for you to uh, for you to discover, like uh, a shrine here, or a little camp there, or, you know, things of that nature. And uh, these, uh, these mods are designed to work seamlessly with other major overhauls in this region. Unlike the Valley of the Wind overhaul by Leowin, or Strider Burial by Numeral 21, or Koga Run Expanded by Team Drama Kwama, or uh, major uh, dungeon mods uh, like the uh, the Salt Gems of Ben Sompsi by uh, Milk Your Dog. And I mentioned that last one because it is just right next to uh, the Lonely Towers of Balaku. And also it is a bit of an underrated mod and uh, one that Milk Your Dog might actually prefer that people forget about because he hasn't updated it in years. And if there is one thing, one thing that I have sworn to do as a mod showcaser, it is to make sure that no one ever forgets about a Milk Your Dog mod, especially if it means potentially tormenting him. But uh, anyway, 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 getting back to the Great Hive of Ban Benef and Balaku, the Lonely Towers, uh, these two mods just uh, really enhance the alien landscape of Morrowind. Like, these two locations fit in perfectly with the alien nature of Morrowind. And not only do they fit in perfectly with Morrowind's alien nature, uh, but they also add a lot of new content. Uh, both of these mods add new quests to the game and new activities for you to do. And the Great Hive of Ban Benef uh, even includes a new dungeon by uh, the deity of dungeon design, Seeloth. And if that isn't a selling point by itself, I, I really, I really just, I don't know what is. Uh, not only is this just a, a fantastically beautiful and atmospheric viticality inducing location just in the exterior world space, uh, but the interior here is just, it is dripping with viticality. I mean, look at this beautiful, just alien looking interior for the Great Hive of Ban Benef. Uh, you'll find a, a dark and atmospherically lit giant cavern with a single tree growing out of the ash, and a, a lot of cultural relics left behind by the, the Ashlanders, you know, presumably of the Ushalaku tribe. 
Uh, this is just, this is a, just a, a truly unique and special location to stumble across with just a, a, a superb level of atmosphere and detailing. Yeah, really, it almost, you know, has a bit of a, a spiritual experience to it. And it, there is just quite a bit to keep you occupied here. Uh, like I mentioned before, there are a number of quests, and in total, you'll find uh, three quests in the Great Tithe of Ban Binav, uh, some of which might send you on adventures to the dungeons uh, just uh, beneath the hive here. And uh, the Lonely Towers of Balaku also have uh, another quest or two to, you know, keep you occupied. And uh, both mods also make additions to, you know, the game's, uh, to the game's lore. Just, you know, sort of integrating these locations into uh, the game's dialogue and uh, books. With uh, new books and unique dialogue to just, you know, kind of introduce you to these locations just outside of their, you know, their physical place in the Northern Ashlands. Uh, really, this is... Uh, without question, two of the best mods to come out of the 2022 Modathon. Uh, there is just, there is a lot here, and just, again, a lot of just superb verticality and atmospheric beauty. It is a mod that I would just really highly, highly recommend. But at the, uh, you know, at the same time, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to spoil the entire dungeon. So... Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm going to leave off here, but again, I would just, I would highly recommend that you check out and play this mod for yourself. There is just, there is a lot to keep you occupied, and uh, certainly just a lot of beauty to, you know, keep you coming back. But uh, anyway, that's just, you know, that's just our uh, mods of the day, so uh, as always, I've been your host, Dark Elf Guy. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just, I'll... Uh, see you all next time.